Now I turned on the um, my uh, recording with the Streamer X with the ZFC. Now, what you're seeing right here, I'll click on it. Uh, it's on the Windows PC and it looks dark, okay? But this is what I need, the 4K Capture Utility. So I download this. And uh, so it's downloading. And let's see, compatible with requires Windows 10 64 version 64. I recorded this one, so I was on the wrong program but i downloaded this uh, 4k capture which you'll see better on the other video and ecom stream de deck so let's see control sensor wavelength we've got auto game capture okay so they do also have game capture and video capture that's 115, that's 3.7, right, so that's 3.7, this is 4K Capture Utility. I think the game capture is only HD 65, okay, or HD uh, 1080p. So, let's look at the version history. Uh, yeah, high definition, okay? HD60S and Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro only with Windows 10. I wonder if it'll work with Windows 11. Yeah, updated Twitch, face cam support. Okay, let's download the 64 bit. And you can see we have two different versions. Okay, you probably can't see it because it's over there. Let me just raise it up a little bit. Yeah, so you have an HDR. See it? Right there. There we go. So, let's see what happens. Let's go to the 4K capture. Open file. Get that like that. There. Move this down a little bit. There we go. Let's see what happens. So let's see how fast this does. Yes. It's a fast computer, right? It's only a 3900X. It's not like the 5000 series, okay? I didn't want to get too much power, too much heat. It gets warm running this computer in the first place in this tiny room. And that's it. Finish. Now let's open up the... That was the 4K capture utility, I believe. Let me find out. Do this. All apps. Um, yep, that's a 4K capture. So I'm going to go back. Uh, where's the downloads?
Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do the game catcher setup. That's if my mouse works. And see how big the mouse is? Now you really can't see it in this HDR mode. And I'm sorry for the uh, quality picture. I could probably do this. How's that? That a lot better? Maybe one up. Okay. And finish. Get out of this. And let's run a program. All that. Elgato. Let's do the HD capture. Okay, it's booting up. So you see, I do have a 4K six <coughs> excuse me, 60 Pro Mark II. Okay. I'll be darned. Okay. That's, see, I didn't know if I had the uh, regular Pro or Mark II. Looks like I have the Mark II. Okay. So, let's go into the other program, the Capture Utility. This one right here. One moment, please. Okay. This is one moment, please. So I'm trying to install the software and I'm not liking it so far. I do not have a microphone um, plugged in, which I can. And I do not know if it's taking. So what do you usually do is you go in a program called, let's see. Oh, what was it? Task Manager. All right. So it's on. So let me try something else. Let me, uh, I do not know this is going to work. So let's go into Tomb Raider. Open Steam. Okay. I'm going to close this. Tomb Raider. There we go. Options. Sixty.
So you notice you don't hear any sound. So maybe I should put it in the video. But anyway, let's just do a start benchmark just to take a look at it. Trying to get you a good perspective. And I just raise it a little bit. Sorry about that. Just want to show you the FPS. 60. This is on the wrong monitor. But this is what's going on. And I don't know if it's capturing it. So anyway. That's on that one. On the uh, TVX one. I can reduce it a little bit. Get the screen back. The nice thing about this is I can get the full, yeah, full monitor just about. Or I can do it just like this. How's that? 60 FPS. Okay. 60, 60, 60, all the way through. All right. Let's deal with that. So in the uh, ZV-1 Mark II, and I'll transfer the file. And I will get uh, this one. Okay, folks, I got an update. So I was having a little problem with the software. I'm getting an echoey sound, you know, when I'm playing the game. So I reduced it from 100% to 76%, started messing around. I had two clips of it, but there's that echoey. So I did it to the Realtek uh, speakers, and then I did it to uh, the other speakers, the Bluetooth speakers, which is hooked up to the computer. And then I did it to the NVIDIA. Now, when I hooked it up to this, the uh, Bluetooth speakers, there's no echo. But when you play the video back, there's no sound. When I played it to uh, the output speaker, you did get a sound and less echo. And then when I put it on a NVIDIA one, uh, then I got a lot of echo. But reducing to 76%, you don't really hear it. Um, I don't like the software too much. Uh, the video looks fantastic. Even if it's at 60K, it looks fantastic. Okay? I was been doing it at 4K30, and um, the video looked great on the A7C. So let me show you a video that I'm going to load up. And let me pause this right now. And it looks dark, okay? But this is what I need, the 4K capture utility. So I download this. So it's downloading. And let's see. Compatible with, requires Windows 10 64, version 64. I recorded this one. So I was on the wrong program, but I downloaded this uh, 4K capture, which you'll see better on the other video. And Ecom Stream Deck. Oh, the control center, wavelength, we've got a lot of game capture. Okay, so they do also have game capture and video capture. That's 115. 
That's 3.7. So that's 3.7. This is 4K capture utility. I think the game capture is only HD 65. Okay? Yes. It's a fact. Okay. 60, 60, 60. So you notice you don't hear any sound, so maybe I should put it in the video. Anyway, let's just do a start benchmark, just to take a look at it. I'm trying to get you a good perspective. And if I just raise it a little bit. Sorry about that. Just want to show you the FPS. 60. This is on the wrong monitor. But this is what's going on. And I don't know if it's capturing it. So, anyway. That's on that one. On the uh, TBX1. I can reduce it a little bit. Get the screen back. The nice thing about this is I can get the full, yeah, full monitor just about. Or I can do it just like this. How's that? 60 FPS. Okay. 60, 60, 60, all the way through. All right. Let's deal with that. So I'll end the uh, ZV-1 Mark II, and I'll transfer it to file. So, you see, part of the reason why I don't record uh, on the camera, you can see the TV lines and stuff like that. Uh, the problem with the, uh, the capture, it puts it at 60 hertz when the TV is running at 120 and uh, I don't know what happened, but it messed up my settings for the 3900X. So I had a TV, had to figure out it was a PC again. So anyway, make a long story short, um, I only skipped to that video. It was about 10 minutes long. But what I'm trying to do is get the sound with the video. And um, as you can see, off the camera, you get both. You get both the video and the sound. And if I move it far away, you won't see the TV lines. But you want the whole monitor in focus where the whole video will cover your 16 by 9 screen. Okay? That's what I want to do. I don't want no black bar on the top or on the bottom or whatever. But uh, anyway... Uh, Make a long story short, uh, the other two videos I did with the game capture, uh, I told you a little bit about the sound problems. Uh, I just may have to go back to the A7C. You know, just recorded that, put the SD card in. Uh, the game capture made, you know, with the uh, time that I did, it didn't take up much gigabytes, so it's, a, it's compressing the video at the same time. So the picture quality looks excellent. It's just the sound quality. And you have to use another utility in order to capture the sound. And the problem is, I'm getting an echoey. And uh, if you hook up a microphone, would it work with the Elgato? I showed different uh, areas where... I used the capture card, I used NVIDIA, I used um, the output, 
on uh, the Bluetooth speakers, the five gaming 560, and the uh, output for the uh, just regular the stereo. And uh, let me tell you, you, you have to reduce the sound to get that echo out. And uh, you can still hear that echo. So anyway, uh, not discouraged. I can see why a lot of people rather use a second PC to record. So what a lot of people do is they'll take the PCIe out to the monitor from the computer. And what I haven't tried is the input. So I'm going to do that next on the next video where I'm going to try to see if it works without the graphics card outward into the card. I'm just going to do it from inside the card and then outward to the monitor and we'll see what happens there. Maybe it reduces the sound. I don't know. But uh, that's what I'm putting up with and uh, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any advice is welcome uh, dealing with this card. I know more people like it you know, on a second computer, but I don't want to move another second computer over. I just want to use one computer to do everything. And then if I can transfer the file over, it's fine. Um, I can hook up USB-C to USB-C to, like, let's say, the Streamer X, and I can do it that way. Uh, there's a lot of options I can do transferring the files. SD card, thumbstick, you name it. I can transfer it. So anyway, remember to stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, goodbye.